Welcome to Torrential Rip, episode 226. Today's band focus is Vengeance Rising Once Dead. This is their second release. Uh, it came out in 1990 on Intense Records. This was the first issue here. I remember picking this up in a bargain bin at a regular record store. I think I got it for like $3 or something like that. Brand new, sealed. I'm going to focus here. We got on Tense Records, 1990. Total 12 songs. Uh, there was one uh, cover song there, which I usually skip over because I don't really care for it. Um, uh, the, the debut was such a good, great start to the band. It was really hard to follow up on that. But Once Dead is really, really good. Maybe not... At, it's not better than the original uh, Human Sacrifice, but it is really, really close. Close second uh, for a sophomore release. Well, it's by here. That bass by uh, Roger Dale Martin. Amazing. So definitely a great follow-up to an amazing first debut record. Alright, so this is the original 1990, so we're going to get rid of this guy. Um, the CD disc art was good, but I don't really understand the green color. Because <laughs> nothing else is green on here. If they should have gone like a blue or... But you know, it has the logo, the one stand, so actually, it's not that bad. It's just I wish I picked a, they picked a different color. Put away this guy. So now we have the new gold edition, the 2020 gold edition. And we have this edition, which came out in 2010, which had this alternate art here. I'll leave it at that. Um, this was on an Intense Millennium Records. It was a 20 release in 2010. It did have a new remaster by Cliffy. So this one, the 2010 is by Cliffy. And the new one in 2020 is done by uh, Rob Caldwell. So let's let's dig into this a little bit. It's been so long that I haven't looked in this in this booklet in forever. Stay tuned to the end to hear, to hear my monster riff back too. My favorite song off the record. Uh, looks like you get a synopsis here by Pastor Bob. Hey Pastor Bob, if you're watching this and I mentioned this on your uh, Facebook page, you should write a book about all the Christian metal bands and the history of Christian metal that you had a big hand in. I think we would all enjoy that. Um, so the text is a little small. I mean, it is, you, know, you can read it, but it is a slightly small. I don't know what's going on in the background there. Oh, it's just a house right here coming up. So not too much going on here. There's a picture here. I remember seeing that picture. Whoa, focus. So now this one does have something special on it. Here are the credits here. Produced, I don't know who this guy was. Produced by Dave Johnson. I don't, I don't know who that guy was. It was uh, engineered by Ron Goody. I think that was a misprint there. It's supposed to be IE. Remastered by Cliffy, Jay Powell, Slyne Haas. 
The Vengeance Rising is Roger Martinez vocals, rhythm guitars, and lyricist. Doug Theme, guitars. Roger Dale Martin, bass. Larry Farkas, lead guitar and rhythm guitar. Glenn Min Caruso, Min, am I saying that right? Min Caruso on uh, drums. So, great band lineup. Um, so, with this alternate um, artwork here, they did offer the original, um, which is far superior. And what was behind here? So, yeah, just had the logo underneath. I want to play uh, one of my favorites back over here. Right? Is that the Abyss? Love the Abyss. It's really long, but I really love it. Let me speed it up just to hear. Get into the, the chugging riffs. Yeah. Slow grind. Chugging. This is what I'm missing in metal today. This style. Epic song, kind of a slow burn. Love the rhythm though. All right, now on this disc, oh, the glare here. It has a bonus interview at the end, of tracks 14, 15, 16, 17. Thus, I can never get rid of this one because it has that interview. So again, it's gonna be a collector's item. So I gotta keep this one. All right, we'll keep this out because we're doing the remaster. Um. Let's take a look at the booklet. Again, with the gold edition, you flip it, you get the full bleed cover. And uh, Scott did th this one. You can see already that it pops more. The actual Vengeance logo is more detailed. Here's the uh, 2010. There's Scott's 2020 version. You can see the Vengeance is much more defined and cleaner. Even the picture, too. Much better quality. I love that he's wearing a delivering shirt, uh, Roger Martinez. It's cool. Just want to side. We're gonna go through the booklet here. You, get, you pull that out. You get Vengeance Rising underneath. Very cool looking back. You get the awesome logo with a picture I had hadn't seen before, aside from the 2010 release. Here you get it in color. Oh yeah. Love this song. All right, let's take a look through the booklet here. I don't think I've looked at this yet. Oh, this cool makeup. I, I, I know, yeah, I've never seen this. That's pretty neat. The makeup. Story behind the album cover. Again, I have yet to read this. Pictures of the video shoot. The makeup. Continuation of that. Whoa. Get all the lyrics here. Much easier to read. And I like that Scott kept uh, who wrote the songs. In the background, you get the uh, Once Dead in the background. Chugging. Much else here. Gold disc edition notes. Released by Bill Blackford for Rocks Records. So check uh, to get this record. Go to rocksrecordsproductions.com. Uh, Layout by Scott Waters. Remastered by Rob Caldwell. 
Liner notes by Christopher King. So go to Rocks Records. Well, let's focus there. Rocksproductions.com to pick this one up. Alright guys, I'm going to give you my Monster Riff pick. Uh, actually, first, we're going to talk about the remaster. The Battle of the Remasters here. You got Cluffy on this one, Rob on the new one. Alright, listen to these with headphones for many, many minutes. Um, just like Human Sacrifice, these are very close in quality, uh, you know, sound quality. Uh, both are very good. And just like the first one, the new Rob Caldwell is just a hair better. The mid-range or the mid-range uh, sounds are a little bit cleaner. If you have this one, again, sound quality-wise, these are very, very, very close. Woo. Crazy guitar work. Um, so now the new 2020 edition does not have the interview that this 2010 version has. That's the only thing that this doesn't have. Um, it is a gold edition, so you will, uh, you know, it'd be preserved for a long time being on a gold disc. You don't have to worry about disc rot. Um, so which one? I mean, sound quality wise, I would give the the slight win to. The new Rob Caldwell remaster, but sound quality wise, there's not a big difference. Um, but again, if you want that gold disc, pick this one up and go to Rocks Productions. It's actually right here, rocksproductions.com. And uh, all right, last thing, Monster Riff pick, and then I'll go out with this, guys, okay? Love the abyss here. Oh, so good. But I do have to go with I Can't Get Out. I can't get out here. Always loved this song, even when I first heard it. Alright guys, I don't have to play much of the song. You know all these songs. But that's my favorite. It's definitely um, Can't Get Out. A lot of great songs on here. Uh, again, one of the classics in Christian metal uh, lore. Um, Alright guys, it's going to do for this episode. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing this with your friends. Thanks for supporting the show. And uh, again... Uh, pass along to friends that just like, even if they don't like uh, Christian metal, if they like metal in general, they may find something here that they like. So again, I try to offer something hard rock, you know, uh, 80s metal style, power metal, thrash, and death metal. I try to offer something for everybody, I try to mix it up, so uh, a little something for everyone. Alright guys, that's it for this one, rock on, see you on the next one. Later. Thank you.